Hey guys, it's Chris with Chris Pantry. Just doing the... I'll try and do a fairly quick one for you guys today. Basically doing a different version of a coolant flush today. On my cooling system. And my coolant looks alright. I guess it's supposed to be a red orange color. I haven't really tested it, but since I really don't know when it was last done, I figure I'm just going to go ahead and come in and replace it. And, uh... Probably replace my thermostat too, which I believe is going to be over here in this housing on the head, which is pretty convenient. So I don't have access to a garden hose or anything like that, and I haven't in a long time. So usually when I do a version of a cooling flush, for me it's just drain, uh, drain the cooling out, refill distilled or filtered water, drain it again, and repeat that about two or three times and then I'll uh, top it off with the right coolant or refill it with the right coolant bleed it and call it good but like I said today I'll probably also go ahead and replace my thermostat not having any overheating issues or weird temperature issues I just figure don't know when it was last done and since I'm already messing with the coolant I might as well replace the thermostat while I'm at it so as you can see I've got cap off probably go ahead and pop open the overflow and uh there should be a pep clock down below i'm trying to get a picture of it for you guys before i open it so the pep clock is actually on the down here on the driver's side this is the red eager up run this the uh this guy up here is the intercooler but yeah uh, this is the red eager and the pep clock right back here and uh for those of, the, of you that are still curious uh my truck's the manual transmission, so uh, obviously I don't have that many lines running up to the radiator, but here's the pep clock, so you just open this up, I think it's just counterclockwise, let it drain out, close it back up, and then I'll fill the system up with water. Uh, basically, each time I do it, I'll run the, run the truck around, let it come up to operating temperature, let the system cool down, and drain it again for each time I fill it. Alright guys, so I figured I'd stop and give you an update. Uh, during the first batch of coolant this morning, that's the tank right there, or from the first train. Don't mind the little crudges floating around, that's just from the bucket itself. Um, it looks to me like the, the coolant is either old or just very watered down, and I suspect probably a little bit of both, because if you look at this bucket, this was from the second time I drank it. You know, like I said, I drank it, filled it back up with, you know, uh, water. I used the water out of my Brita picture, honestly, just because I didn't have distilled water. So I filled it up, and drank it, and it came out pretty much as straight water. So I'm thinking my coolant was pretty well diluted. But, filled it up again, get ready to drain it, and then we'll add the proper coolant. Okay guys, I'm back in the truck. I uh, just got done topping it off with uh, the new pre-diluted coolant. I got a deal at my local uh, MHC Kenworth shop and I picked up six gallons of this stuff. It's pretty much the same stuff that they use in the bigger Cummins engines and mine's just the mini-me. So I did uh, uh, basically drain my cooling system about three different times. First time it came out semi antifreeze looked like a lot, uh, you know, about maybe a 30-70 mix. And the next time it looked like straight water. Third time, slightly dirty water. So, uh, because it's night, I'm just kind of doing what I call a quiet bleed on my um, cooling system. I got the cap off and everything out there, the truck's idling. Um, got my heat on. Um, my truck's a little weird. I think you actually have to have the fan on low for it to open up the heater valve. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I selected it low to ensure that my heater control valve's open so I don't cool it circling through there. So uh, I'm just going to uh, let the truck come up to operating temp. She's still a little bit cold. And uh, that way I know that every, you know the thermostat's opening up and everything. Um, I do still intend to put a thermostat in this. I actually have one on order. It's coming directly from Cummins. I've just kind of heard horror stories about, you know, the lower quality uh, thermostats in these trucks. So, 
just uh, gonna go ahead and get a better one that way I don't have to worry about it and I'll install that one tomorrow I was hoping to get it today but it's just gonna happen so like I said I'm just gonna finish up here and uh, you know let the truck get up to operating temp make sure my uh, coolant level is good and uh, call it a night but that's pretty much uh, at least my version of how you guys do a uh, uh, basically a flush of a cooling system without a garden hose. I'm Chris for Chris Country. Hope you guys are having a great night, week, weekend, whatever time it is, wherever you may happen to be. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.